East Coast Hell Cubers. Today, we're doing a seltzer variety pack review. So, welcome to East Coast Hell Cubers. Today, we're doing a seltzer variety pack review. This is the Bud Light Seltzer. It's called the Out of the Office uh, Limited Edition Variety Pack. Um, comes with these tropical flavors. Um, yeah, I got four cups here. I'm actually in a hotel right now. I'm on vacation. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna check out these flavors. So the flavors they are, it's, uh, this one is Mango Mai Tai, Watermelon Mojito, Strawberry Daiquiri, and Classic Lime Margarita. Um, I actually haven't seen these in Rhode Island. I'm actually in Florida right now. Um, and let's start with the Mango Mai Tai, 5% alcohol by volume, 100, uh, 100 calories, zero grams of sugar, um, but I did notice it does say some of them, actually no, they're, they're, I think all of them might be, so they're uh, cane sugar and stevia, stevia leaf extract is the, what they use to sweeten it. Uh, but yeah, let's try this one out first. The mango Mai Tai. Let's go with the color. Got this clear glass. Let's go for the pour. You said this is the mango Mai Tai. It's honestly, you'd think it would be more of like a yellowish color, but it's like light pink. A little bit of bubbles. Actually, a lot of bubbles. Might just be this glass. No, yeah, it definitely looks very carbonated. Um, yeah, it's pink for some weird reason. It's not um, like yellow or orange or something. Like I said, it's weird. It's pink. Let's go over the nose. Lots of mango. Not really getting much, like, kind of maybe, maybe like mango, pineapple. Pretty sure that's what a Mai Tai is. It's just like mango, pineapple, juice. I don't really drink cocktails too much, but we're at Florida, and uh, we want something nice and light, something tropical, something to drink in the hot sun, you know. Yeah, pretty much just mango. I'm really not getting much else on this. Like I said, maybe pineapple. Definitely actually... Let it smell a little bit more. Yeah, definitely mango and pineapple. Let's go with a taste on this one. It's not bad. It's not overly sweet. You get mostly mango. Like I said, pineapple. Um, very light. Honestly, for zero grams of sugar, these actually have a lot more sweetness than say like the Corona seltzers with the zero grams of sugar, those definitely are like almost no sweetness, straight seltzer water. These have a little bit more sweetness, in my opinion. This one's not bad for a rating on this one. I'll give it like a seven, seven out of 10, not bad. Like I said, a little bit more sweetness for zero grams of sugar. And for someone that doesn't wanna to drink too much, or doesn't want to drink any sugar when they're drinking these seltzers. This one wouldn't be a bad try. I think it's only available in that variety pack though. Let's move on to this one. Watermelon Mojito. I'm guessing this one's gonna be pink. I don't know why the mango was pink, but. Pink as well, much darker pink, lots of bubbles. Um, I don't say much darker, but it's definitely a darker pink. Nose. It's like watermelon, like a mint, like a spearmint gum. Not honestly getting way more mint than watermelon on this on the nose. Let's go for the taste. It's 
very minty. Um, kind of like when you brush your teeth, minty. A little bit of watermelon, more mint. I think the mint definitely covers up the watermelon. I don't really get much watermelon, like maybe a little bit up front. But like I said, you're just left with that lingering mint. Kind of like odd aftertaste. I think that's that stevia. Um, yeah, this one's okay. I think I'm gonna give this one like a six. Not bad. Other thing on the can says natural flavors, 100 calories, zero grams sugar, two grams carbs, gluten free. Um, like I said, these are all five percent, 100 calories. Like I said, I'm gonna give this one a six. Move on to the strawberry daiquiri. Oh, I didn't talk about the carbonation. They're both pretty, uh, pretty good carbonation. I'd say medium to high carbonation. Definitely a like watery mouthfeel. A little bit more sweet than your average zero gram sugar um, seltzers. But now we're gonna try the strawberry daiquiri. This one's pink as well. I think this is probably just as pink as the watermelon one. Not sure why they're all pink. But, uh, yeah, lots of bubbles. <laughs> Let's go for the nose. Strawberry. It's like strawberry and lemon lime. So strawberry and citrus. I will say for seltzers, they actually do have a pretty decent aroma. Like they're not like as flat and muted and dull like some of the other seltzers. It smells okay. Let's go with the taste. They all just have like this weird dry aftertaste. I don't know why. Um, it doesn't leave you with sweetness. It just kind of leaves you with this weird aftertaste. I said strawberry citrus, kind of like the nose. Honestly, it's a little bit more citrusy than strawberry. It's kind of like a lemon lime like a hint of strawberry up front and leaves you with like a lemon lime. Like I said, it doesn't really leave you with a sweet aftertaste. It's just kind of odd. That one, yeah, I'm gonna give that one a six as well. Six out of 10 for that one. Ugh. Last but not least, the, let me get this out of the way. Classic lime. Margarita. Hopefully Ashley can help me finish the rest of these. So I don't have to drink them all by myself. Uh, but yeah, let's go look on this one. If this one's pink, I'd be really confused. Okay, all right. So this one is honestly kind of like a, I wouldn't say it's completely clear. It's got like a grayish tint to it. Uh, maybe it is clear. Yeah, it's ain't clear. Maybe it's just the lighting, but you hold it up to the light over here, it's definitely clear. Lots of bubbles, like the other ones. Nose. Lime. Maybe like citrusy, like orange. Pretty sure that's what they use in is like triple sec. So it's gonna be like citrusy. So, orange, lime, maybe even like a little bit of like a floral aroma. To, to be honest, I think this one I actually, I think this one has the best aroma. It doesn't smell overly sweet. It actually does kind of smell like a margarita. Obviously this is a, a seltzer, so it's not going to have any tequila in it. 
Let's go for the taste. A little bit of lime. Not really getting like... I don't know if I'm just imagining it, but kind of has a little bit of like a floral agave aroma. Maybe a little bit on the taste as well. Lime up front, citrusy. This one actually has a little bit better of an uh, aftertaste. It's a little bit sweeter. Um, I think this one is the best one. I'm going to give this one a seven and a half. I think this one is the best one at, out of the variety pack. Um, I think this is only sold in that variety pack. Would I ever see myself picking up that variety pack again? Probably not. They had the lime margarita maybe in like a six. It was like a single, its own package. I'd probably buy this one again. Definitely not the other ones. The other ones are a little funky. Um, like I said, that uh, stevia. This one, uh, no, this one has stevia too. Yeah, this one definitely. It doesn't taste as. It doesn't have that odd aftertaste like the other ones. Um, it's not overly sweet. Uh, carbonation isn't too heavy. It's not making me bloated. Um, definitely light, kind of watery. But like I said, this one has decent flavor and it's not. Doesn't really have as that odd aftertaste like the other ones have. Uh, so I guess I'm going to give this one a seven and a half. Uh, on average, I think the pack itself is like a six and a half. That's being nice. Um, these are expensive. Uh, I think it was just the area we bought them in. I'm sure you could probably find them for like $18 for a 12 pack, but we paid like 21 for a 12 pack, which is insane for seltzer to pay $21 for a 12 pack um, like I said it would probably be like 17 18 if we were in a different area um, but taking that into consideration it really just has the Bud Light logo slapped on it and then they make these seltzers um, so that there's nothing there's nothing to do with Bud Light it's not a, a beer it's a seltzer um, yeah like I said as a whole I'm gonna give it like a six and a half not really going to recommend picking it up. Like I said, if you guys see the Classic Lime Margarita as like a single, like a six pack, or if you can get it as a single, I'd recommend trying this one out. Not so much the other ones. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else that you guys like to see on my channel, definitely leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my upcoming videos. And look for beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.